This might sound like a strange thing to say, and I know that not everybody feels like this, but I always really liked school. When you've grown up in a chaotic house, school can be really peaceful. I got to see my mates every day, and my whole day was planned out for me. I really liked it. There were some tricky bits. My mum and dad never came to parents' evenings, and they didn't go to school events or football matches. It's a shame, really, because I, I was good. I remember when I first got picked to play for the school team, I was so excited. I forgot everything, and I just ran home as fast as my legs could carry me. Flew through the front door, flew into our front room, and there was my dad asleep on the sofa. I raised him up and said, Dad, 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 I'm in the football team. He woke up like he was rousing up from a coma, looked dead at me, and went berserk. He was screaming at me, absolutely screaming at me. He stood up and he tried to take a swing at me, except he was drunk. So we overswung, spun round and fell over. I laughed. It made him really mad. He come at me, roaring, chased me out of the house, chased me up the street, screamed at me, get out, never come back. It really hurt. That was the last time I ever really tried to talk to him about anything. I was 11 years old. I've always really enjoyed being in big groups of people. I think it's because in a big group of people, it's easier to hide away. That's what I liked about school. I could just put a mask on and be someone else for the day. I had one for everybody. I had a mask I had on for the teachers. I had a mask I had on for my mates. I had a mask I had on for the football team. Trouble is, them masks weren't really helping. It was just putting distance between me and the outside world. It's like each one was a brick, and I was slowly building a wall that was cutting me off. I didn't realise it at the time, but the decisions I was making then were leading me down a really dark road. I remember two of my best mates dead excited, saying to me, after school, come down the field, come down the field, I want to show you something. I ain't got a clue what it was they were talking about. They were always excited about something. We get down there, and one of them gets a brown paper bag uh, out of his school bag, and inside was a bottle of whiskey. I've seen bottles of whiskey before. I'd seen bottles of everything before. He takes the top off and hands me the bottle. Go on, he says, have a drink. Go on, you'll love it. I put the bottle to my lips and I drank the first drink I'd ever had in my life. It's funny now looking back. I felt like I was waking up, like I was coming to life. That became our regular routine then. Every night, finish school, get down the field, pitch a tent, stay up. I was allowed to stay out dead late anyway. Well, when I say I was allowed to stay out dead late, what I mean is, Nobody really cared what time I came back. So now I started to build myself a new mask. I was the daredevil. I'd do anything you dared me once I'd had a drink. That was the only place I felt happy. It was the only place I felt like I mattered. <laughs>